as you listen to me this evening, you're in one place at one point in time. As a human being, you are limited by time and space. But there is something within you that can transcend time and space. Something that we lost. In the creation story, we see God telling Adam to name the birds, the animals, the worms, the fish. How was he able to do this when the worms are in the ground? When some of the birds fly above the clouds because he had the power to fly. He had the power to get into the seabed and name the algae right there. That Garden of Eden I was estimating the other day, it could be approximately Cairo to Cape Town, cuboid, meaning length, width, up. And here is a man who was supposed to tend the garden. There were no workers. I want to suggest to you he was operating at the speed of thought. He had no limits. And that's why when Jesus comes on the scene, the Bible calls him the second Adam. He was supposed to restore that which we lost. I've got some good news for you tonight. All is not lost. There is something within us that can transcend time and space. And that's your imagination. As you listen to me right now, you can go 500 years into the future. You can take a road trip around the earth in less than a second and be back to your seat. Your imagination knows no bounds. You see, I can see some lights here. Because of the mind of a dead man, these light bulbs he discovered in excess of 100 years ago, Thomas Edison with no high school education. Thousands of miles away across the Atlantic. He is still ruling us tonight. He has no idea about his dominion or the extent of his influence. What I'm saying is this. You can step into your future and you can know with precision exactly how you will be 10 years from now. How, Doc? By checking exactly what is going on in your mind right now. Because 10 years from now, you'll be exactly where you are in your mind right now. So the best way of controlling tomorrow is before it arrives. The best way of taking control of your tomorrow is before it becomes your today. Because our thoughts create us. You can break off the limits. Have you been blessed by this video? Please like and share with family, friends, and colleagues. Great people are either sources of light or they are mirrors that reflect the light. Be a channel of blessings to others and hit the subscribe button to enjoy thousands of my videos free of charge